Hey guys, hope you are doing well. In today's video, I'm going to show you another demonstration of this automation. So in this today's automation, I have built a website and integrated a few of the features. Like for example, you can provision phones, please pin do the pin reset, uh, do the health checkup. Uh, delete the phones or to the bulk provisioning using this website so you don't necessarily need to give uh, permissions to your iMac uh, in order to perform uh, many of the BAU work so uh, one more reason for this website is or the automation is um, to have standardized uh, you know uh, uh, information given back to the call manager for example let's say if you're if you've got a request for a from a user where the user is asking for a account phone account where the user can log in so you have to create a device profile you have to create an end user then you have to create a voicemail voicemail and you have to associate that device profile with the end user but uh, sometimes what happens is like uh, due to human error we may forget uh, some of the uh, information uh, for example associating the device profile with the end user so when we give the credentials back to the end user so if uh, the end user will uh, try to log in and uh, of course he'll not be allowed to log in because the profile is not associated so this comes in human error so in order to reduce the human error, human error so uh, we can make use of automation and you can um, you know save some time of course uh, one of the important factor is saving some time so provision any of these items right uh, phones device profile java it takes minimum of uh, duration from starting from five minutes to 15 minutes uh, depending on how uh, well experienced the iMac DT is so in order to reduce the time so this automation can help you so let's get started so at this moment if you see in my lab uh, there are two phones uh, two phones configured one is registered and one is unregistered i have two users and i have few uh, device uh, i mean i have few directory numbers or uh, route patterns uh, configured here so uh, let's get started with the dashboard here so this is the first page how it looks like so um, if I go to static phone Jabber page so you can uh, basically uh, you know deploy IP phones or static IP phones where uh, by static IP phones I mean you can assign the IP phone with a static number you don't have to log into the IP phone with a device profile or you can do uh, Jabber deployment so this is something you can do uh, individually this is not in one i'll again take you through so this is about provisioning extension mobility profile you can provide uh, provision the extension mobility uh, in any of both of these tabs right it gives you the uh, provision to uh, it gives you an option to provision the voicemail account as well i'll again uh, talk about this from in this tab you can reset the pin password and the voicemail pin and this tab you can find the inactive directory numbers from this you can find the active voicemail users from here you can uh, do the health checks from here you can do the ideal file reset uh, here you can uh, delete the users and from this tab you can provision the users in bulk and this is the place where you upload the file in order to provision the users in bulk so let's get started with one by one before i start i'll show you that how many users i do have configured in the unity connection so there are the uh, eight users currently configured in the unity connection so let me show you how how you deploy a uh, phone jab so let's input a user here uh, for example let's say test test uh, one let, let us give the name of the user is test test again um, so in this field I have entered the user ID in this field I have entered the first name in this field I have entered the last name here it is asking me for the extension so either you can choose to provision the extension uh, if you don't want to choose or if you don't want to provision the extension the automation tool itself will assign a DID for the user so let's see how does it look like so I'll not I'll leave it blank at this moment um, I don't want to fill this so it is asking you to input a mac address so since we are deploying a java phone so let's make it as test 
says of Java. So it says like if you want prefixing or if you are uh, uh, provisioning a IP phone prefix SAP. If you want to provision Java phones, you prefix CSF. So I've done that CSF. So it is not necessary like you need to provision CSF. You, it's up to you. But I have just uh, made it as per the standard. So model what model it is. So I'll select Cisco Java. What site? Now it's asking you for some what site. So we have currently two sites, which is New Delhi and Bangalore. So where you want to provision this uh, uh, user? So in this example, we'll select as New Delhi. So the users will be pro user will be provisioned to New Delhi location. Uh, here it is asking, do you want to uh, uh, opt for voicemail? We'll go yes. Okay, let uh, let's opt for voicemail here. Now let's click on go and see what happens. Okay, so the provision looks to be completed. So here is the data what we have entered. So let's see what it says. Okay, so it says for uh, daily location, you have these numbers available in your range. And out of this number, the availability ID that will be assigned to this user is to, to 20,001. And it says like end user has been created successfully, end user has been, uh, extension has been created successfully. Phone has also been created successfully, device has been successfully associated with the end user and voicemail account also has been created. So let's see if we have got the test sheet test one user uh, in the call manager okay so we see the test one user here okay so you see here it has uh, created some username password etc and it has enabled op these options basically um, enable the user option for the I mean presence uh, it has associated the chapter user here Okay, it has selected the primary extension and it is standardized uh, by associating the end user information uh, rules. So let's see uh, the Jabber profile. So earlier, if you remember, like there were only two phones now, uh, the Jabber phone has also been created. So uh, the device name is uh, entered as this. So we entered the first name as uh, test and last name also as test. So it is. Uh, and in, enter the information like first name, last name, and jam account. And we selected the site as Delhi, so it has provisioned the phone in Delhi. So it is associated with the CSS as well here. So uh, it is associated uh, or given the only user ID is test one. So rest of the parameters remain same or yeah, as we see right it, it, the next available extension was 20001 so it is assigned 20001 to this particular uh, phone so partition is selected it is given the alerting name ask alerting name voicemail profile is default css it has assigned it has done those call forward settings and assign those necessary css what is required for uh, this site it has created display name mask display name and also associated the end user with the line. So this is about uh, CSF Jabber here. So let us provision one more user, uh, but this time we provision the user with uh, uh, a physical phone. Okay, so let's enter the uh, enter another user. Uh, let's say it's test two. Oh, before I. Um, uh, show you test to I wanted to show you is uh, unity connection users so let's come here so in the last uh, test uh, in the last user what we provisioned so we see the account has already been created as test one so in the last selection we made a uh, voicemail to be yes so that is the reason this account is created so now we'll uh, associate uh, or we'll create another user as test two let's see if uh, uh, this account also gets created but this time we are going to select the phone model as a physical phone so I'll show this in next few seconds so we'll enter the first name as first name last name and we'll leave the DMD as blank enter the MAC addresses uh, any random MAC address 0001 now here we are going to select the phone model as 7942 and we'll select the site as Bangalore. We'll say no to voicemail. Uh, let's see if uh, voicemail is getting provisioned or not. So we are not going to end, uh, 
uh, select any DID for this site as well, Bangalore site as well. Let's see what DID gets assigned. So Bangalore should get assigned uh, the range of 10,000 series, whereas Delhi is supposed to uh, get assigned a 20,000 series. So in Bangalore, it should be 10,000 series range. Okay, so we see. Uh, so we did not pass any extension, so extension was empty. So now it says like uh, available numbers are this. Now the DID that will be assigned to the user or the extension that will be assigned to the user is 10,000 month. So we see all of these are successfully associated or created. So let's validate it in this call manager as well. Okay, so now we see the test user 2 has been created in the call manager. So let's see. So this is the account created and device also associated and the end user also has been associated with the rules. So let's validate this user. So yes, you see here uh, the user has been uh, the phone has been created with 001 and the first name that we allocated was f name and last name we allocated was l name so which has been concatenated here and it is also concatenated ip phone so first name last name and ip phone and it, it is as a provisional phone in bangalore device pool and associated the user rest of the items will remain same now going back to the line it is associated the line is uh, this as a directory number 10001 because Bangalore location is starting in range with 10,000 series so our uh, partition is BLR PRT first name last name voicemail profile CSS associated the voicemail information here and display name ASCII display name line text label all this information has been successfully associated so that means um, both things worked in in our case Jabber also worked and uh, IP phone provisioning also worked so now let's try to delete these two users uh, one by one and see um, how successful it is so what we are going to do is we are going to use this area UTP phone delete and you will enter the IDS test was it test one yeah test one so i'll enter this as test one and let's see if how the delete works so you don't need to put uh, many information here just put the user id and it will do the rest of your task okay so uh, it is provided as the following information user id last name first name this is what uh, the uh, we found while deleting the user so the user had this user id first name last name and device is associated and also the directory number in the partition so let's validate this if this is correct or not uh, we cannot validate it because it is deleted so the user has a voicemail account in unity connection as test one if you remember in the first time when we provisioned the user we uh, provisioned the user with a voicemail account in the first case but in the second case when we provisioned the user with test two we did not provision the voicemail account so which i can show you here so test two is not there test one was there but that has been removed so what it says like an end user has been deleted from the call manager, phone has been deleted successfully, directory number has been deleted successfully, and user has also been deleted from the Unity connection. So let's validate this in the, here in the end user. So you see test one is gone. You see the phone, Jabber phone is also gone and the directory number will also be gone. So the directory number was 20,001. So let's check that out there is no 20,001 here so let's delete one more user in this case we don't have this user in unity connection let's see how it behaves okay so it has found the user here in the call manager with this information and this was the partition and number as i said like the user was not configured in unity connection so it is mentioned like the user is not on unity connection 
so it has disassociated or removed all the other information for example let's go to the end user here we'll see only two users what we had in the beginning we are only left with those two users phones yes so the phone is also gone the directory number was associated with 10001 so we'll see here 10001 is also not there so that means uh, this uh, provisioning of the ip phones and deletion of the uh, accounts are also working so let's see uh, this with uh, the provisioning of uh, end user as well now or provisioning of extension mobility profile so we'll again use uh, let's use test 3 this time uh, T3 T3 or maybe test again it is asking you for DID information so we will not put any DID here so what phone model you would like to uh, create so we will create a device profile with 7962 phone model now let's associate this device to the side Bangalore and let's select the voicemail as required as yes so We'll go and select this as yes and oh it is asking you the minimum character that has to be uh, four letters so what we'll do is uh, we test first test last okay okay so uh, End user created successfully, extension created successfully, device profile created successfully, device profile also been associated with the end user and the voicemail is also created. So let's see the voicemail first. So we created the user as test 3. Let's see if a voicemail exists. Yes, so we see here the voicemail exists for this user. Now let's see uh, the end user here. So, okay, so end user also has been created first name uh, what we have provided the first name and last name has appeared here so it has associated the device profile enabled uh, mobility associated the primary extension associated the end user role so let's see the device profile here so device profile has also been created here so if you see here uh, the device profile description uh, soft key template and all those has been associated let's see if uh, extension mobility ex, uh, services has been associated or not so we see here the extension mobility service has also been associated with this and now if you see here uh, we have associated a speed dial as well so which has appeared here so let's see so one two three four five is a test number which we uh, call in order to make calls to help desk number so that has also been associated now we'll see the line so line has also been created the same information what it has done for the phone as well all right so now as we have seen the extension mobility uh, bulk provision uh, provisioning for the user individually right so let's see how does the pa password and pin reset works so we'll try to reset the password for the voicemail pin maybe uh, let me set anything random so let's see if that works okay so the user is found in call manager in unity connection both so that means the user exists in both the location in call manager as well as unity connection which means it is found here and it is also found here so so now it has set the voicemail pin to this what whatever we have set so let's also change the user id uh, or, or password as well cisco123 and let's also change the end user for the call manager and user pin so let's see if this works yes so the end user password is now set to this and user pin is also set to this so that means uh, the end, you can change the end user pin or password easily from here so this will save good amount of time so now uh, what we'll do is uh, we'll again uh, you know delete this profile what we have provisioned and see if that works so right now if you see the test user is available here the device profile is also available here and the test voicemail account is available here so let's try deleting this account test 3 okay so it says like 
these are the information that is uh, that what we have found this is the user id first name is found as this last name is found as this this user has a udp and then directory number is this partition is this and the user also had a voicemail account so all this thing has been successfully deleted from the call manager in unity connection let's validate this okay so you see the device profile does not exist anymore the end user also does not exist anymore and the user has also been removed from the voicemail server so uh, i hope that makes sense uh, you we have validated uh, phone provisioning uh, extension mobility provisioning uh, udp delete uh, as well so now let's see what uh, we have here inactive data so what it means is like what are the inactive directory numbers you have in the call manager that will be listed so right now you see 10,000 is an active account so 10,006 is also an active account uh, what we don't have active is uh, only 20,000 here I think yeah 20,000 is not active so let's see if it fetches the report here so when I click on finding inactive DNS it has given me some report so let's see what this report says okay it says 20,000 is the inactive DNS so let's test it with one more account maybe so what I'll do is I'll create another directory number maybe or maybe copy this 20,003 save and also add one more is 10,003 in let's say network partition let's make it as inactive let's click on find inactive DNS let's download the report yeah so if you see uh, all these entries whatever was not inactive so all has been found here so in my last uh, test or whatever the entry number i have created as 10003 that has also appeared here so 20003 is also appeared here which is found to be inactive so you see here this is not associated or this is inactive and if you notice like it is not giving you the list of the numbers which are active for example 10,000 or 10,006 or 15,000 it is not giving you those information all right so I hope uh, they, uh, this makes sense uh, so this is very useful when you are trying to find out the inactive, num inactive numbers so that you know you can easily delete them from the call manager if that is not required so let's go to the next one so next one is active voicemail users so what it will so why this is useful is uh, let's say uh, you want to delete users from the unity connection because many of the users are not using the voicemail feature right so in such cases you would like to delete the inactive users uh, from the voicemail so um, what i'll do is i'll click on find active users and see who are the active users currently using the voicemails extensively Okay, so it is uh, giving me some information. Okay, so we found only uh, one user uh, who is using the voicemail extensively. So we see uh, that is 10,002 who has got six total messages. Um, then six is in inbox, zero deleted. Um, so, and the last message time is uh, 2021 so this was the time when the voicemail was last time uh, received on this particular account so uh, if you notice there are two users so 10,002 10,003 right so 10,003 is not listed here because 10,003 has never received a voicemail so in such cases what we can do is like we can go ahead and delete uh, we can check if uh, this can be deleted or not because uh, 10003 has never received a voicemail account uh, since it was deployed 
so it's up to the business whether you want to delete it or not um, so uh, you can feel free to delete the, the account so I'm leaving it as it is so now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to uh, check the health check of the call manager and unity connection using this by the time it is doing the health check I'll close this So the health check will take uh, at least around uh, a minute. So where it is fetching the information from the call manager and Unity connection, like uh, for example, uh, what is that database replication running at this moment, and uh, what are the other things uh, important re required for the health check to be completed. So this is something which is very useful for the BAU work. So just to make sure, like uh, our call manager status or call manager cluster is running fine in case if it is not then we can report it back to the late uh, l2 team or the team that there is some issues with the call manager or maybe unt connection okay so it has given me some information so this is something like um, i'm getting an error so i'm yet to fix that error so so right now let me show you the status of the health check so this is the status of the health check database replication is not running um, because uh, i have only one core manager active node and it does not have a subscriber so that is the reason you have not got the information otherwise you would you would have got the information like what is the database replication is it two three four zero one so it is also check the ntb status so ntb status is uh, 16 u so you can use this information uh, so you see uh, it is showing as june 6 uh, as the ntp as a time but today is still in june so definitely there is an issue with the ntp because the time is unsynchronized right so so which we can fix easily now the, it has given you the cluster network information so this is the cluster how it is running right now so it is unsynchronized again it is saying that so this is done for your uh, call manager now it is performing the health check for unity connection here so again in unity connection as well it is saying you like database replication is not running because unity connection is also running with a single node and it has given you some information here as well like what is the current uh, host name what is the host name what is the date time what is the time zone etc um, and uptime of the unity connection etc so this is useful when you are using it in the BAU world so the, before I go to the idle, oh, let's show you the idle file reset as well. So I have a phone which is uh, currently up and running. So let me show the phone here. So the phone is 172.16.0.13. Now what I want to do is uh, I want to delete the idle file of this phone. But uh, just to let you know, like uh, there is no idle file installed in this phone, but I'm just going to show you like uh, you can delete it just by sending the commands to the phone. Uh, I'll just show you a demo, but it is not going to delete any of the ITL file because there is no ITL file present at this moment. So I hope you can see the phone right now, which is registered as 10006. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter as 172.16.0.13. That's the IP address. Yeah. And the model is 740. At this moment, I've created this ITL file for 740 only. Reset the ideal file. So you see right now on the screen there is nothing happening at this moment, and it is doing some. It is processing some information in the back end. So let's see what happens. So this is important. Like uh, you don't need to uh, sometimes you know go to each and every disk phone or if you. Uh, if you want to reset any ID file from any of the phone, you don't have to ask the user to do it. You can also do it by yourself. 
you see here so the phone has uh, gone to the settings and uh, went to the tr uh, security setting and trust list and it tried to delete the idle file but since there was no idle file present so it did not uh, do anything but however this task is completed so that means our uh, we are able to send the keys back to the phone properly okay so let me stop this video all right so the last thing what i wanted to show you is uh, the bulk provisioning here so the bulk provisioning here from here you can deploy a good amount of phones or um, device profile or jabber in bulk so if you want to see how does a sample file looks like so what you can do is you can download the sample file so this is how your Java sample file looks like. So you have to give the user ID, first name, last name, MAC address, MAC address, uh, that would be your Java MAC address, which site they belong to, do they need voicemail, yes or not. This is very simple. You have to fill out this information in order to provision the, uh, the users and the phones. So right now, um, if you, let's say if you, you don't have any of this, uh, phones uh, or you want to modify this information for example uh, right now what sample file we have downloaded uh, let's let's again download this and modify this okay so let's make the user ids uh, csf let's say she belongs to Delhi, then my other ex colleague, and now let's create one more. Uh, this time, let's create it for myself. Uh, let me make myself to Bangalore. And let me also get the voicemail. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this file to downloads Jabber. Already there are some Jabber, so I'll make it test folder and save this file as Jabber. So you have to make sure that this file is in CSV format. Yes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload this file here. So downloads, uh, use, test, jabber, load. So file upload is successful. Now let's provision this file. So uh, to provision this file, you have to select the file from here and just click on provision. Okay. So looks like all of these are successfully provisioned. So let's see. So in our previous case, if we open the account here, so voicemail should be created for Nikita and Avinash. So let's see if the voicemail is created for Nikita. I see for Avinash, uh, I don't see. Uh, let's, let's see what happened. Um, I need to check why he did not create for Avinash, uh, so maybe I'll check it later. But I really should have created for Avinash. So let's see how about the end users. Okay, so we see three of the accounts here, so which are uh, um, provisioned correctly. All right, so let's see my account. So we see Jabber and user associated and all of this important checkbox whatever is required in, in order to provision Jabber is also there so let's see for Ganesh yeah it is there let's see for Nikita it is there all right so let's see the phone here so you see this three phones has, has been created so these are the information which has been assigned. So she has been part of Delhi now. Uh, let's see what our any CSV file says. Yes, she is part of Delhi, so which is correct. She has been assigned with a extension of 20,000 pool. That was the next available extension for her. 
Now for Ganesh, uh, he should be part of Bangalore, so he's in Bangalore DP and Bangalore location in Bangalore partition. So which he has been assigned with 10,000 baht. So for myself, again I'm part of Bangalore, so my extension should be 10,002 I guess. Yes, 10,002. So we see a device pool, we see owner user ID associated and all those information correctly. So this is how uh, you are going to you know, associate uh, the voicemail uh, I mean, users in bulk. So I know in this uh, thing now uh, a and user has not been created for me. So I'll check it out why it was not created. But otherwise, uh, everything should work as it is. So uh, there are many features, uh, many more features which can be added to this uh, provisioning tool. So, for example, which uh, will uh, make your life easy, for example, is uh, um, taking the screenshot of the IP phone. That can be one of the thing which we can do, but I've not done it yet. So another thing would be like getting the phone registration report uh, in the same piece so that you know if the phone is registered or not. So those are things and a few, few many things, you know, what you can think of which can be added to the PAU. Uh, let me know your thoughts, what can be added to this uh, dashboard so that, you know, it'll make uh, in voice engineer guys uh, life easy. I hope you like the video. Please share your review, comments and let me know what things can be added. Thank you for watching.